There, it is done. This is a very fine powder. Perhaps if I apply heat? That smell, undoubtedly a derivative of opium and morphine. This is the same compound on the ball found at Stenick's place. How goes it, Holmes? What is the result of your analysis? Without question, this is clearly a derivative of opiate. Something still troubles me, though. The facts indicate this substance must have been used in large quantities. But no English druggist could provide such an amount. Far too risky. And I do not believe British customs would allow such a large quantity to pass through unremarked. Well, I am convinced of quite the opposite, Holmes. How can that be, Watson? Explain your reasoning. Please remember that, as a doctor, I am accustomed to the use of various compounds, including powerful derivatives such as distilled opiates. Those imported from the continent enjoy a special status with British customs, who do not bother the shipments and take little note of the quantities inside. Such shipments are easily identified by their labels. They always bear the identifying mark of the particular medical academy within that country which has an agreement with our own governing academy. Though I can't determine the precise country of origin, I would swear the label scrap left on this crate is one such as this. Doctor, I will never get to the end of your possibilities. You have solved this little riddle for us. Quickly, and waste no time, we must get ourselves to the custom inspector's office at the harbour. What? Now? Can't it wait for our tea? Oh, I'm coming, Holmes. Sir, did you find what you were looking for? Yes, and no. Tell me, where can I find the customs agent? The man's name is Beddoes, and at this time of day, you'll likely find him on the pier near a ship. Thank you. You have been most helpful. Pleasure to be of service, sir. Let us hope that these registers contain what we need. They must be here, somewhere. Aha, these must be the registers. This one concerns special imports. Hmm, nothing definite or comprehensible here. All that they mention is that these goods were stored in Warehouse 16. I see nothing further of interest here. Best to leave these ledgers as we found them. The iron boxes were stored here. A careful search of the place might reveal some valuable evidence. I see no way of opening this door. Filthy tar! My shoes are thick with it! Hold on, Watson. These traces have much to tell us. Regard how they resemble those nearby.
the right shoe is missing a nail. Ah, Watson, our case would have been better served if I had applied the intelligence God granted me. If you ever have a mind to chronicle this adventure, I fear your readers will be much disappointed. I should have examined that area of the warehouses with more care, because this footstep is similar to those found at Stenix. We have only to follow to learn where they lead. Hold on, Watson. These traces have much to tell us. Regard how they resemble those nearby. The size is undoubtedly seven. The shoes are also hard-soled. I need something. Here is a tab. This one is less damaged. Excellent. We now know the source of these illicit goods. Watson, we shall now return to Baker Street. There is much to be done. Have we received any word from Mycroft? It seems to me there is a letter on the table for you. Perhaps it is from Mycroft. So, the poor devil who lay under this warehouse was indeed the owner of the passport embellished with the drawing made in blood. His thumb was gashed. He is most assuredly the one who made the drawing during his captivity. But what brought him to this place? Furthermore, if this detective agency has any standing, it rests on the reputation of its associates. They are rightly regarded as proven professionals. Therefore, this dying man's last efforts were to leave clues for those who might come after him. Remember, Watson, this man's forefinger was also coated with dust, and we found drawing drawn in that very same dust upon the floor. Exactly, Holmes. An addition symbol was there, placed within a rectangle. Let us consider the facts, Watson. A number of people were taken by force underneath Warehouse 12, drugged, and then transferred in boxes by ship to some as-of-yet unknown destination. For the moment, London has nothing more to tell us. These people, whoever they are, have a small advantage. We should give them no more. We must make our departure. But to what destination? Wait, Watson! I have a sudden thought. What do an Edelweiss and a rectangle containing an addition symbol signify to you? Switzerland, of course. Watson, we shall divide our tasks. I shall report the particulars of Mr. Colby's death, as this affair requires the utmost in tact and discretion. Well, I never. Thank you, I am sure. Watson, you know I'm impersonal, each man to his specialty. I rely on you to book passage for two to the continent immediately. And, Watson, see what you can learn of an institute called the Black Edelweiss and determine if it is located in Switzerland. If this place can be found, I believe it holds the answers that we seek. Now, hurry, man, the game is on. <laughs>